Moving on to lesson 12, okay? So this is gonna look very similar to the last lesson. You might have a problem like this. You have a larger number and a smaller number, and then you get the difference between the two. For example, how do I figure out, I'm gonna leave it like that because it's funny. It's not the difference, it's the difference. <laughs> What's the difference? between your age and my age. How do you figure that out? What's the difference? I have to figure out what your age is. First. I'm 48. Oh, okay, then so I'm a lot younger than you. Okay, you don't have to say a lot younger. But <laughs> well, how would you figure out the difference of our ages? I would usually just count with my fingers. Okay, so what are you doing mathematically, Grace? Take your age and subtract Subtract, it from my age. right. So you're subtracting larger age, larger being 48, okay? Yeah, it's not that old. I'm only half dead, okay? Not even. You're also half alive. Not even. I'm half alive. That's, I need to be more optimistic. You have 50 more years. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, larger number minus a smaller number equals the difference, okay? Um, so, what about this kind of thing? So, the, the same subtraction problem would work for later minus earlier. For example, if my grandfather was born 1920 and he died 1980, how old was he? How old is he? Oh, that's so sad. Exactly. Like yes. I guess it's not. 60 oh. years old. I think oh. he... he, he he was older than that. But um, then you still get that difference. So sometimes you're trying to figure out, like, you know, those sad movies when they go to the cemetery and they see the um, some somebody's name and then the gravestone. Oh, how old was he when he died? Or I don't know if it's too soon to bring this up, but Chadwick, I looked him up on IMDb and it's always sad when you see the born this and then died this too so but you like, can do the math so you're subtracting your doing the math. yeah that's right that's so the <laughs> people died for a cause mathematically yeah. don't say that at a funeral no. don't say that they died for a good cause so yeah so thank you for that <laughs> subtraction problem yeah that's what people want to hear okay <laughs> So that is just another example of a subtraction problem. So these guys are subtraction problems. It doesn't mean that you're always gonna subtract, right? So let's say that um, someone died in 1980, but they were 23 years old. When were they born? Um, that's actually a gravestone. That's actually a gravestone? Yeah. Like they 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 died at twenty three, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and they so were what? Born in 1980. Yeah. So if they so if they were born in nineteen eighty and they died when they were twenty three, then when did they die? Two thousand three. Two thousand three. Okay. So you're not always going to subtract in these problems. You can set it up like a subtraction problem, but um, you might be adding. Okay, so for every addition problem, it could be a subtraction problem or an addition problem. For every subtraction problem, it could be a subtraction problem or an addition problem. Okay, that's all I got. So here's the deal. You guys have a lot of time to work on your problem sets. Black math! Give me some that's all I got. So here's the deal. You guys have to. You guys have a lot. That's all I got. So here's the deal. You guys half dead. You guys have a lot. That's all I got. So here's the deal. You guys half dead. You guys have a lot. That's all I got. So here's the deal. You guys half dead. You guys have a lot. That's all I got. So here's the deal. 